That event to swim in the Anaconda. Oh, is yeah. Now, it's canceled, <laughs> Joe. It is canceled. <laughs> This is hilarious. <laughs> I'm so, sorry. This is fun. We've been talking about this for a while. A lot of people have been really talking about this all across the DMV, but we told you about it last week. The plan was for people to go out, jump in the river tomorrow, even though it's been illegal to swim in the water there for 50 years. Mm -hmm. But now that's all been rescheduled for September. No reason was given. But to jog your memory a bit, here's what people told Joe last week when he asked them if they'd even go swimming in the Anaconda. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let's see. No, I'm not getting in that water for nothing. <laughs> because I've grown up here, I'm a Washingtonian, native Washingtonian, and then I don't trust it. I heard about that on the news this morning about uh, they have a one-hour window or some, you know, at a certain particular spot. But uh, I wouldn't do it. But I would actually get in it, but I don't think I would dip my head down in it. So you are willing to at least go like to like waist right. deep, maybe right. chest deep, but right. you would not, you're not submerging yourself. Right. Even when I go to the beach, I don't submerge myself. I just, okay. I just go, you know, to get wet, you know. And you, and you eat fish out of here. Yeah. There you oh, go. There He's you not go. going to submerge himself. That, that other woman said, uh-uh. Uh, <laughs> she is not going in there. I grew up here. Uh, there's no way. Yeah. So what's going what, Why did it get canceled? What's going okay, on? Okay, so that's a big question. We're, we've got an expert here joining us from Anacostia Watershed Society. CEO Chris Williams joining hey, us live Chris. to break it all down. So tell us, I mean, why was this splash postponed now until, I think, September, I believe? Well, the... Um, Apparently, there was a, 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 sewer, a combined sewer overflow event, uh, a couple of them that happened recently, um, that polluted the water. And out of an abundance of caution, the uh, DOEE and the Anacostia Riverkeeper, which are the two organizations that were putting this on, um, decided to cancel it, to postpone it. Huh. So I'm, I'm sure that you can see, after, after that report, that we just showed you can see the sort of the irony uh, here while we're laughing on this Friday because <laughs> everybody I went and talked to was like, there is no way I'm getting this Anacostia and then this thing gets canceled. However, from your perspective, what would be the difference between now and September? The difference between now and September is that um, hopefully the on the, the day that is rescheduled will be a day that the water quality is good and the water quality meets the standard for swimming. See, what you gotta understand is that, generally speaking, the Anacostia is not swimmable right now. Okay. But on certain days, under certain conditions, when the water quality is right, it is swimmable. And that represents a dramatic improvement. 25 years ago, the Anacostia was one of the most polluted rivers in the country. Gotcha. It's coming back, it's recovering, it's getting better every year. The water quality indicators are trending up. And we've gotten to the point now where on certain days and certain times of the year, under certain conditions, in particular places, it is swimmable. And this swimming event was going to take advantage of one of those days when the river was swimmable in that particular place off of Kingman Island. Gotcha. How, okay. How can you tell when and pinpoint those days exactly when there's so many different factors in play here? There's water quality monitoring that goes on virtually every day. The Riverkeeper does it, the Anacostia Watershed Society does it, the Department of Energy and the Environment does it. So we can track pretty closely water quality from day to day. Huh. huh. Will there ever be a time that we have sort of a consumer water quality kit so we can go down and test the water ourselves? Say, cool, it's time to hop in. I don't think you'll be able to test the water yourselves, but I think what there will be is there will be some sort of mechanism, maybe an app, for example, okay. that you can check on your phone and look on particular days and, and find out where the water quality is in any particular place. Gotcha. See, we're on a journey here. 25, 30 years ago, the Anacostia, water, the Anacostia River was one of the most polluted rivers in the country. And so the reputation, the reason people are sort of reluctant to get in the water is because they remember that reputation, and yes, that's indeed. totally reasonable. But we've been seeing over the last 25 years a gradual improvement. And what this swimming event, this splash event was going to be, is it was going to be an occasion to mark progress, to mark a day when you could swim off the dock at Kingman Island. Now, unfortunately, because of circumstances on this particular day, that couldn't happen, and it needs to be postponed. But it will happen. Eventually, it will happen. Eventually, my hope is that as years go by, we'll get to a place where you can check on your phone, and maybe today's a good day for uh, to, to go swimming, so you can go swimming. And then as the years go by, the river will get cleaner and cleaner. 
and we'll ultimately get to the point where you can jump in the river and take a swim whenever you want. But we're not there yet. We gotcha. still have some water quality challenges we're trying to overcome. All right. That we're working to overcome, and we will overcome them. Yeah, and that's something Thank that you, you Chris. guys are working to, to move forward with and try to get that cleanup. Yeah, I, I can't wait till it's night nice blue like the waters in the in the tropics. There you go. <laughs> I don't know about that one. <laughs> we'll see. Thanks, Chris. Chris. Williams, thanks so much. <laughs>